A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Luton Town, and they face Brentford. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater design? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Christian Nurgard. Christopher Ayer. On to Mope. A possession lost, intercepted. Lokonga. Regilon. Here's me. And return to Regilon. And he's won the ball. He's going forward well here. But timely defending when it mattered. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Ivan Tony. Oh, big opportunity! Oh, a chance to put them at an even better position. Well, he's got to hit the target there. What a waste that is. Lokonga. This could level it. Well, oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Well, getting close to the half time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Regilon. Vitali Janelt. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
Oh, that's a super piece of defending. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. The fans want to see a shot. Just the challenge that was required. Ayer. Mads Roerslev. So a half an hour remaining. Roerslev. There to take it away. Oh, good vision. And running in behind. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Ivan Tony. Ayer. Janelt. Mopé. Losing possession a bit easily. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. So making the substitution now. Cabore. Had a chance to whip it in here. Then me. Regilon. Just cutting off the supply. Ten minutes to go. Jensen. Ayer. Well, giving the ball away. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important. Can they stop it going in? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's parried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Johan Wiesa. And he did well to cut it out. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Well, still pushing forward. It's a matter of whether or not they can come up with an equaliser. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Yes, Derek, well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end.